Dean here, here with a box of Dan Post Boot Co. Dude, listen. So you're gonna be finding out more about, about me and Dan Post. Um, but let, let's just say this for right now. Dan Post is without a doubt my favorite boots or boot company um, I have ever had. Um, I've tried Ariat, I've tried Justin, I've tried Double H, I've tried uh, Rockies. Uh, I've tried a lot of different, a lot of different boots. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that no one else makes a great product because that's just not true. Uh, what I am saying for me personally, as a heavy dude um, who grew up playing basketball. Um, and is accustomed to, you know, sneakers, right? Like uh, Jordans and like Jordan 1s, probably my favorite sneaker. Um, I, I don't enjoy the clunkiness of the modern age of boots. I just don't. They're thick, they're big, um, and, I, and to work in, yes, 100% get it. Um, I've worked really hard my whole life. I've done a lot of manual labor type of things, bailing hay, working on a farm, driving truck, uh, raking gravel, um, running a stone slinger, you, you, you name it. I've done a lot of physical labor and had boots on for all of it, all those brands I just mentioned. Um, however, if I am choosing a boot that is for just personal use, um, going out in the town, having a good time with friends, daily driver, just hanging out, I'm not going out to, you know, break gravel or dig a hole. Um, uh, this is what I would choose. I would choose Dan Post every day of the week, twice on Sunday. And depending on the labor I would choose to do for work, I would do it in these as well. Maybe not this, this pair particularly, but um, a leather sole. Um, I find, for me personally, that leather soles are like putting socks on. And um, listen, I, I'm, I'm an odd duck. I'm a heavy dude. I'm flat footed. Um, I wear a normal just 12D. Um, and just for what I do um, in my daily life and what I have done for work previously, um, I have used, it's very similar to this, to, to do that manual labor in. And I've used all the New York clunky ones too. And I just, I always keep coming back here. Um, and there's a whole other story arc that I want to share with you guys, but I'm not doing it just yet because I want to do that um, in a very special way. But just know that I love Dan Poe's boots, and um, I'm excited about these. So listen, I in a lot of my music videos you see in my photo shoots, you see me with uh, the Sly Python on. Those are my favorite boot ever. Um, I love those boots. They're just cool, man. Like You get compliments everywhere you go about those boots. But these right here... These right here, that we're gonna unbox today, these are very similar uh, to the Sly Python. These are called the Manning Python. Um, I kind of got confused there for a second because I looked over at the tag and it was, you know, um, it was the Apache BC Python. Um, so, but Apache is the color, it's Apache tan. Um, so these are the Manning Pythons, and listen, man, I'm so excited to show these to you. So we're just going to just jump right into it, okay? Um, all the box, box good stuff. Now, something that Dan Post does really well is, um, and I talked to the reps, uh, Cy, about this, is that it, they really do a really good job of making, like, an old boot feel very comfortable from day one, no break in time. And I can attest that that is true. I've had older versions of Dan Post, it took forever, and then they were my favorite thing in the world. Um, the new ones, you put them on and it just happens. It's a very natural thing. But anyways, anytime you get a pair of Dan Post, this is what's going on inside there. It kind of gives you kind of the construction pattern, yada yada. It's good stuff. Let's get to the boots. Let's gotta get to the boots. Dude. Dude, these boots are wild. You know, I know a lot of people do like the whole drop down like camera thing and I'm just, I, I want my channel to be super, super easy, super raw. Not easy as far as production, just, uh, just I want it to be raw. Just nice, you get the experience, I get um, the best we can do it. So I'm just gonna kinda, dude, come on with it, come on with it. It does not get any better than this. Dude, look at this thing, just, I mean, dude, you see that skin. You can just like, 
Here's what's so funny, man. I hate snakes. <laughs> I, snake, I hate snakes with everything in me. They're the worst thing ever. Um, I just, they're the, the, the scourge of the earth. I know, listen, I know they do good stuff, uh, but I hate snakes. But something about snakeskin boots and like accent pieces, like whether it's like a guitar strap, right? Or, or a belt or something like that, dude, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's cause I'm like, yeah, or, sorry, we own you now. But dude, just, I'm just gonna, you know, hold these out. Just do a little twisty twist. Just do a little twisty twist. All the boot reviewers out there are freaking out. Listen, I, I'm a country music artist. I'm not a boot reviewer. I just, I wear the stuff and uh, I care about the product and I care about, you know, the people over at Dan Post. They're, they're like a big family and I, they're just great. Um, dude, these things are wild, 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 wild boots. Let's grab the other one. Let's see them pair. They come to the package, uh, to the package too, which is great. Uh, he's been sitting in in, uh, in, uh, in a box for a hot minute because I wanted to do the video. Uh, my wife, uh, Crystalina, uh, she uh, she was kind of struggling a couple weeks ago, and she took me to get these boots, and it was a real surprise. I didn't wasn't expecting it. Uh, if you're in the in the Indiana in the Indiana area. Uh, the cowpokes, that's the only place to get anything like this. Um, and there's other places, starts to be, I'm not gonna say it. Uh, good people that work there, nothing against them. I just, I like local. And um, you know, the the guys over at, uh, guys and gals over at cowpokes, they're just the best, they really are. Um, so if you haven't been to the new Seabar C out in Cloverdale, Indiana, you gotta go to it, it's amazing. Um, dude, there they are together. I mean, that's just a, it's amazing to me how how they get it so so tight on the pattern. I mean, I'm not sure as far as how construction goes. I mean, obviously there's you know the modern technology and CNC. I'm sure that exists in in this world too. Uh, I mean, it does in guitars. So the consistency factor, right? Um, I mean, just wow. Yeah. All right. This is dope. Um, I want to get them on my feet. I don't think I'm going to do an on foot today because you're just going to see a ton of them anyways. So I'll be wearing these today. <laughs> yeah, man. So listen, um, tips and tools on, on care of exotics. Get the stuff. Get the stuff to clean it. Get the stuff to you know wipe them down, to hydrate. Um, hydrate the, the uppers here um, and the lowers. Um, you know, take care of them. And, I, and if you look, you, know, you can see it's a very old school way of constructing, but as I showed you in the top of that box, um, and it's so comfortable. I mean, that's the best that's ever gonna look. <laughs> you're ever gonna look like this after today. So, y'all, um, the damn post is what's up. Um, so if you're looking for a good boot to get out and about with, this is it. You can get a cow pokes. Um, I'm super excited to put these on today and get out and about in the world. Um, but yeah, man, you gotta follow along with Dan Post, right? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. We got some cool things cooking. Um, I've, I've got a story I want to tell you that is um, that's just cool. It's just a cool story, and you know what's life except for relationships and stories. And uh, companies, good companies are made of relationships. And Dan Dan Post is a good company. And uh, yeah, man, go get you some Mannings in a patchy tan, and uh, you can be like me, ZB. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, catch you later. <laughs> Peace.